As part of the European University Alliance, UNIC, UCC offers students and staff a truly European intercultural experience. Dr. James Capallo from UCC Study of Religions, along with UNIC colleagues, has integrated the unique international experience into the Study of Religions and Anthropology BA programmes by developing a virtual exchange module entitled Dignified Spaces in a Plural Europe. The principal aim of, uh, of our co-taught module was to elaborate on the concept of dignity in European cities in this pluralistic and post-industrial context. Virtual exchange is a practice consisting of online or hybrid education programmes and activities that enable interaction between people who are geographically separated or from different cultural backgrounds. We had in mind a diverse set of uh, locations or places including abandoned churches or industrial sites that are today used as refugee centres or as mosques and also the online spaces that communities um, use to connect with their communities back home in, in Africa or in the Middle East. The student coursework on this module involved the students um, engaging with these spaces and how uh, communities use them and they did this through observation and ethnographic fieldwork. It made me realise that the dignified spaces are intertwined with people and it was interesting seeing different people's viewpoints. So I think we worked together really well um, and we were all stronger for it. I was working in the Tremor Valley Park which used to be a halting site and now it's an invisible space. I looked at Nano Nagel in the car context so it's a hidden oasis, as you can see, in the middle of a bustling city. Developing this initiative with international partners really enabled us to offer the students a truly interdisciplinary experience, working with philosophers, um, town planners, visual arts specialists and, and religion specialists. I did get the opportunity to collaborate with other students internationally and it was a really wonderful experience and I feel very lucky to have had that experience. I was having to explain what a traveller was for the first time and you know, realising realizing that was quite jarring for me so it was interesting to see how we can you know, open up the conversation to make these groups more visible on an international scale as well as a local one. The international element was great because it's kind of your, your peers, it's not like a guest lecturer coming in from another university, it, it's your peers, it's people studying and doing the same course and how, how they view it. The international engagement that we, uh, we were able to realise through this module really gave uh, the students the possibility firstly of hearing very diverse voices um, addressing the same concept or question but from this interdisciplinary perspective. Through that experience kind of got to grips with the, the differences uh, about the way that uh, people in those cities imagine and think about the, the spaces they have. And also for me personally, it gave me courage and it gave me um, more of a toolbox for how to do research. So it encouraged me to pursue a PhD in how humans fit into future cities. Dignified spaces don't just happen, they're something that you have to work at and curate yourself and be mindful of that. Of course there were challenges working with four different universities and the requirements and uh, the credits and so on that, that um, at universities had and also the timetabling when we were dealing with, with slightly different time zones. But they were not insurmountable and when we put our heads together and, and um, sort of worked out the most creative way of slotting in the different aspects of the module into our own programmes in our home universities, this worked very smoothly in the end. Off the back of this experience of working together on this module, we actually co-wrote an article which was published in an online journal, Mediapolis. We received seed funding from the UNIC scheme in Bochum and we're now working on putting together a consortia and gathering partners, working with communities going forward. For a range of opportunities to engage with UNIC, visit unic.eu. For support and training to develop your own collaborative initiative via UNIC, contact unic at ucc.ie